And ladies and gentlemen, there she is, Mary Jo Sanders, the four-time world champion, Mike, in four divisions, looking for her redemption in front of her beloved hometown fans. I'm right here in Auburn Hills, Michigan, one half of the showdown in Motown. As Donna Frio Boxing, in association with KO World Class Boxing, Presquez Promotions, and Palace Sports Entertainment, present the Women's IBA Light Middleweight Championship. Ten rounds with champion Holly, the preacher's daughter, home, taking on that woman in the ring that you see right there, Mary Jo Sanders. She looks relaxed, Mike. She looks ready to make good on her words. Oh, she better be. She's in against someone. And there's her father, Mary Charlie Sanders. I think Pop looks a little bit more worried than uh, than the daughter does, I think, at this point. I know I would be if I was <laughs> the parent of a professional boxer. Well, Mary Jo, they said in the first fight, that they said, oh, Sanders will be stronger, she'll be able to bully home, but it didn't quite work out that way. Home, as we know, trains with MMA fighters, you know, big fighters, big men. And she said, you know what? Mary Jo can't push me around. She didn't push her around, and she won the fight. This, however, will be a much, much different arena that Holly Holm walks into. Only her third fight outside of Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I can assure you, Andre, she hasn't walked into a snake pit as I think she's walking into here tonight. Mike Holly Holm was all business. She did not take a long ring entrance. The cameraman had to jump out of the way. <laughs> she's ready to go. Yes, indeed. Seven-time world champion in three divisions. Holly Holm. The birthday girl today, too, 27 years old today. A few years on Mary Jo. Seven years younger. Thanks just to see what kind of, you know, reaction the crowd, well, how it will play against Holly Holm. We will cer see. Certainly played a factor in her winning the first fight, according to the Sanders camp. Mike, there was an interesting exchange during the press conference. Mary Jo Sanders said she had a bad day. And Holly Holmes trainer, manager, Mike Winklejohn said, well, everyone has a bad day when they fight Holly Holm. We'll find out tonight if it's another bad day for Mary Jo. Let's go up to our ring announcer, Pete Trevino Jr. with the introductions. President Dean Chance, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the IBA World Championship belt. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to throw down! The following contest is for the IBA Light Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing your fighters. First, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the lavender trunks trimmed in silver, standing five feet seven inches tall and weighing at 152 and three quarter pounds. She comes to the ring with a record of 25 wins and one loss, no draws, with eight big wins coming by way of knockout. She is recognized as the best female fighter pound for pound in the world. She is a six-time world champion in four different weight class divisions and the current IBA middleweight champion of the world from Detroit, Michigan, Mary Jo. across the ring fighting out of the blue corner wearing the green trunks trimmed in white standing five feet eight inches tall and weighing in at 150 pounds she comes to the ring with a record of 22 wins and one loss with two draws with five big wins coming by way of knockout representing albuquerque new mexico ladies and gentlemen the undisputed 147 pound champion of the world total of eight world titles, the current IFBA 154-pound champion of the world, the preacher's daughter, Holly Holm. Well, as
as predicted, not a lot of love for Holly Holm, but Andre taking a look at that stalking that she was doing in the ring. I don't think she cares. <laughs> I don't think she does either, Mike. Let's listen to Steve Smoker's instructions. Last minute instructions there from the corner. Now we've discussed this in the dressing room, so right off the bat, I want to make it very clear. Every shot on Sanders is good. Every shot, you understand that? Everything up here, from here up, is good on the nameplate. I don't know how she can get that down. That was supposed to have been adjusted. In any event, I know. I expect a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. God bless you both. Touch gloves. Touch. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this IBA light middleweight world championship is scheduled for 10 rounds or less. Seconds away now, boxing fans. The showdown in Motown. The talk is over, Mike. Here we go. Holly Holm coming out very determined in that in a ring entrance thus far here. Very light on her feet thus far. She seems to be in a zone, Mike. And Mike, I think it's very important for Mary Jo Sanders to come out here and make a statement and say, hey, this is a different fight in a different place. Absolutely, right from right from round one, exactly. Oh no. Sanders gets the rope. Easy escape on that one. And then moving in. Home coming out the aggressor, Mike. Very methodical at this point by Holly Holm. Sanders back on her heels already. Holmes corner saying, nice, Holly, nice. They like what they see thus far. It's like a bull, now that's what coming forward is all about. And Mike, I know there was a lot of talk about Mary Jo cutting off the ring and pursuing Holly Holm and not letting her, what they call running, do any running. But I think Holly Holm coming forward as the aggressor kind of puts the kibosh on that new plan that's, so far. That's the counter. Sanders now with a good right hand, but Holm unfazed and now back Sanders against the corner. Sanders trying to bull her way out of there, and she does. Holm very focused. And just comes right forward again. Pulling Sanders into the corner now. Sanders for a credit fighting back though, and again, she fights her way right out of that corner and the crowd loves it. And now the fight settling into more of the predicted. Right at the end of the round, the fight settled into more with Sanders pursuing. Absolutely. Well, Mike, first round, who took it? <laughs> well, I like the way home came out. face a little red there from the Sanders counter. There's a good uppercut. And here Holmes we see Holm pushing Sanders all the way across the ring with a flurry. Just a bowling, bowling motion there across the ring. But Sanders, to her credit, came out and scored here. Spun around. Safe to say Holly Holm is a little focused here in this fight thus far. Andre. I think she is, Mike. I think that's safe to say. You can see how Holm, she's just not going to be intimidated by the allegedly stronger Sanders, that she's not going to be pushed around. She'll keep coming forward. With that said, though, Mike, I think Mary Jo Sanders is definitely looking different from the first fight already. each other. Home again, charging forward. An uppercut by Sanders in there. A good stiff uppercut. Make home think twice, I think, about charging forward. Home's now fainting the right hand. Oh, sorry, Sanders, sorry. Again, seemingly waiting for Sanders to make the first move now. Yeah, that was interesting, Mike. She came forward and then waited to counter. Yeah. Oh, 
Like I'm standing here, do something about it. Yeah. They're tentative now, it seems. Lou Sanders just pod pod with that right hand just a minute ago. Homer Salva has been criticized in the past of essentially pawing her jab. It's a good right hand there by Sanders. At home with a little back step now. But she spins Sanders around and works the body now with about four consecutive. But Sanders easily off the ropes and now back on the aggression again. Mike, I have to say, Holly Holm has a kickboxing background, and I again see the martial arts influence in the punches she's throwing. And I, I think that maybe as the fight goes on, the difference in punching power might begin to tell. It's that slight hesitation, you know? End of round two.